Hey everyone, here's how to make one of my favorite fall winter breakfasts, steel cut oats. If you want just a summary of how to do this, go to the one and a half minute mark of this video and at two minutes, I have a tip for you to cook these faster. Measure out a quarter cup of steel cut oats per person. Thoroughly rinse your oats with water. Then strain and transfer the oats to your pot. Add 3 quarters cup of water. Bring to a boil over high heat. Then reduce to medium high heat once it starts to boil. Simmer until most of the water has evaporated, then stir diligently so that the oats don't stick to the pot. This takes about 20 minutes to reach this stage. Add about a quarter cup of coconut milk. Bring to a boil. And then remove from heat. Transfer to a serving bowl and top with one tablespoon of shredded coconut, a tablespoon of chia seeds, one teaspoon of molasses, and maple syrup to taste. Here's a written summary of what I did and while that's showing, I'll talk about the nutritional value of this breakfast. I always choose steel cut oats because they are less processed than most other oats, so it's high in fiber which helps regulate cholesterol and blood sugar. Oats are also high in phosphorus, magnesium, manganese, selenium, and iron. Coconut is loaded with medium chain triglyceride fats which serve as quick burning energy rather than being stored in fat cells. They provide molybdenum, which facilitates enzymatic action in your body as well as minerals such as selenium and zinc. Molasses are the leftovers from the processing of white sugar, so it's got all the beneficial iron and a decent amount of calcium, potassium, and copper. Look for unsulfured molasses. Finally, maple syrup contains zinc, which supports the immune system. Maple syrup also has manganese, which lends its hand in the functioning of the enzyme superoxide dismutase to fight harmful free radicals. If you'd like to spend less time cooking, soak the oats overnight in water the evening before. This cuts cooking time down and makes for a softer end result. You can also cover the oats with a lid while it's cooking. If you enjoyed watching this video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. And to those of you who have subscribed already, thank you so much for helping me to reach 100 people. See you next Thursday!